Okay, um, just a quick video uh, by Dacacon Development. It's uh, 8.22 in the morning, uh, and I thought I'd just uh, do a quick one since lots of people seem to be using uh, Visual Studio Code at the moment, so I thought I'd kind of go through a few things. <clears throat> one little um, simple tip to help out now. Now, let's imagine we have... Um, Where are we? Let's say we want to do this. It's awful. We, we don't have no imports. What are we going to do? So, <clears throat> if you notice, I got rid of those all at the same time. Now, in fully fledged um, Visual Studio, you just hold down Alt and drag your mouse, and you can actually um, edit multiple lines and stuff. Uh, in Visual Studio Code, it's a little bit different. Uh, what you actually do, you hold down, um, you can hold down Control and Alt and use your arrow keys to select multiple areas. Now if I want to put the imports back, now we have all those imports. Now this can be useful in all different situations, like uh, data manipulation. Imagine you had a huge data set that you wanted to enclose in certain things. So if I quickly grab up uh, some, I don't know, list of I don't know um, Marvel characters probably a bit of a contrived um, thing but let's see if I can find a general basic list rather than no, that's no good um, looks like people have got two Good of um, there we go list of characters on Wikipedia there we go I don't know if this is going to work out but let's just go that one oh, why do they have to have too much there's far too much text for me to actually here's a interesting idea I'm just going to grab this selection here uh, let's pop down here paste that okay we've got a few annoyances now so let's say I want to move the line, uh, the um, so let's say I want to kind of mess about and edit this. So let's get over here. Uh, let's look. What do we? Ha! Ah, here's a fun thing. This is where some other sort of a um, thing would be useful. Uh, where are we? Now here's where we can do multi uh, cursor editing and you just hold down alt and you can say, okay, I want a cursor to be there. Oh, well, actually let's start at the beginning. I want a cursor to be there, then I want one to be here, then I want one to be there, then I want one to be there and so on. So I'm only selecting every other line rather than the actual whole lot of those. Then let's say I do control shift home. That didn't work out, I forgot about that, sorry. Just control Z. The demo gods are not smiling on me today. Right, okay, so back to the start. <clears throat> okay, so main, and then we'll do this one, 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 and this one. So now, shift home and delete. That's got rid of all those. Delete again. That's got rid of all that. So now we've just got the names. And we can literally go to the start of here and use our control alt and move down here. And we could like um, put something like that to that end of them and then end and then that. And then we've we've got all these. And now we can put commas on all of them and then go down again to the bottom, get rid of that last comma. Then up to the top and do something like um, and literally just do it like this and now all of a sudden we've got an entire data set of objects that contain these now obviously that's a bit mad so what we'll do is we'll go over here and you know what I think we want to um, go like so Let's have a look, and we'll just put a speech mark there. Now, 
Now, this isn't the ideal situation because they're all different sizes. So I think what I'll do is I'll use the uh, what's in alt and click so we can get them all at the ends. There are faster ways of doing this part, but I'm just playing with it at the moment. Just to just to put across that you can actually do lots of different mix and match of these. But now we now have a load of objects with um, text on and stuff. So that's just grabbed a data set from this, uh, where are we? From the Wikipedia entry, literally, uh, that had loads and loads of artifacts in it in the way, cleaned it up and turned it into a load of objects. I mean, uh, why is that though? She's moaning about something. Oh yeah. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these and do this we're going to add a key to them because this is just saying that's a piece of data it wants a key so um name colon there we go it likes that better now so basically we've now just made a bunch of objects with one data set uh one key value pair in each of them which is pretty cool now we could then do a whole other key value pair, let's say ID um, zero, comma, one, comma, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that, that was fairly painless. It's um, I mean, we could like now go one further and go, okay, we want a space there. So that kind of gets that sorted. So, so it's quite quick in manipulating data and playing about with stuff. You know, you don't have to do them all in the same line. Let's say you wanted to change something like, I want to change, I don't know, let's find some actual data or something. Uh, let's say my search bar now. Well, anything with, yeah, we've got two divs. Let's say I want to take that and turn it into a H1. I could just click there, hold alt, click there. There you go, you got H1. And it's changed those two at the same time. So for things like that, it's quite awesome, especially if you've got loads of them. If you had like 50 of them that you want to change, it may feel a bit cumbersome, but it'd be a lot quicker to do it that way than it would to delete the whole thing and then click on each one and do all you know what I mean, there's, there's all sorts of uh, situations where you might use this. It's not an amazing thing, but it's it's quite simplistic and it, it is, I find it quite useful. Uh, it speeds up workflow for quite a few di different situations and I hope it helps you in some way. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you uh, in the next video.